And it was worth it. It was super worth it. Because Diablo 2 is a good game. Back when they meant, made the good games. Oh, it's starting. And the video quality is terrible. The video quality is terrible. Terrible. I'd appreciate it if people didn't skip ahead and f and uh, and spoil it for me, because I'll be mad. Not a premiere or live, yeah, because they're idiots. Because they're because Konami are stupid and dumb. Skip 10 minutes, there's nothing but fog until then. Wow. Wow. Oh my god, they were supposed to premiere this. Holy shit. Oh my god, Konami is so fucking competent. Holy shit hell. Holy shit. That is embarrassing. I'm embarrassed now. Yep. That's the bathroom. Is that fucking Troy Bank? Is that Troy again? I can't tell. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Oh, that's a pretty good Mary. Silent Hill. That's a pretty good Mary. This looks terrible. This looks awful. Oh. 
fucking hilarious. Also available on PC. Welcome to Silent Hill Transmission, the show that keeps you informed about Silent Hill. My name is Selena, and I will be your facilitator. Thank you very much for having me. And Silent Hill series のプロデューサーを務める岡本元井です。今日はよろしくお願いします。まずはじめに Silent Hill 2の映像をご覧いただきました。Yes, そしてですね、より詳しくお伝えするために一緒にゲームを作っている人をお呼びしています。では早速ご紹介いたします。コンセプトアーティストの伊藤正弘さんです。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。改めましてオカモトさん、伊藤さん、サイレントヒルが帰ってくるんですね。はい、そうなんです。あんな皆さん本当に大変お待たせしました。サイレントヒルが帰ってきて、その第一
山岡さんありがとうございますコナミのサウンドね若いスタッフみんな山岡さんのことを尊敬しているのでみんなワクワクしながら一緒に仕事させていただいております So this feels like the audio is diegetic and it's actually behind them and they can't like they have to like Hold on let me see if I can do anything on my end Like the music's around them and they can't turn it off そしてですね、日本だけでなく、制作チームについてのお話もさせてください。今回のサイレントヒル2は、ポーランドのホラーゲームのスペシャリスト、ブルーバーチームで制作しています。まあ、彼らからコメントと制作風景をいただいてますので、こちらもどうぞご覧ください。サイレントヒル2 is a cult classic. And it's widely recognized as one of the best games ever oh, made. Look, the For many、people. Bluebird team members, Silent Hill is the title which made them fall in love in horror games. I literally can't handle this. This, I could, I could do like an essay on putting Mary's face up in the sky. Is. Is it's it's the it's the bluntest it's the bluntest fucking thing in the world. Like they're Polish, but this is like American horror. Like, hey, how do you know what the character's thinking? Just put what the character's thinking on the screen. This is why we approach our work with a great respect to original game. To ensure that we are keeping this unique Silent Hill atmosphere intact, we are working closely with original creators such as Masahiro Ito and Akira Yamaoka. Such as. Uh, there's no longer a smooth gradient from the nurse's flesh head to her skin. Masahiro Ito and Akira Yamaoka. We want Silent Hill 2 to make the same strong impression today that the original game did 21 years ago. Good luck with that. While we want to achieve the same end result, players' expectations evolve over time, and certain things need to be modernized to have the same or similar effect. That's not true. For example, that's why we went with the over the shoulder camera, so we can immerse players into the game world as much as possible. Oh, cool. That means that you're not going to be able to do the scare properly inside the hole underneath the museum、uh, because that whole thing works by showing、uh, a camera. Facing James, and then as he struggles to get out. We are creating a synergy where new or modernized mechanics and features actually support the original spirit of Silent Hill 2. Combining the old with the new is no easy task, but we believe we are on the right track. To put it simply, our goal is to recreate everything what made the game a timeless classic, but give it a new form which will draw players even deeper into the foggy streets of Silent Hill. すごいです。この現場からサイレントヒル2が生まれたんですね。そうなんですよ。もう彼らは本当にホラーゲームとサイレントヒルが大好きで、コナミってサイレントヒルに関しては世界中のチームから毎年のように提案をいただくんですけれども、はい、その中でも彼らは最もですね情熱的で、すごく愛を感じました。素晴らしい。Okay, do you guys remember when on the podcast people asked me, wait, how do these teams get chosen for being the Silent Hill thing? And he literally just said exactly what I said on the podcast, which is a team from Eastern Europe literally emails Konami and goes, hey, we love Silent Hill. Please, 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 please. And they go, okay. 
That's literally it. さんも一緒のポーランド行きましたよね。はい、あの、年の瀬のあの寒いポーランド行きましたね。で、何度も何度もね、あのお酒を飲み、語り合い、はい。でもかもさんはね、こう酔っ払って。そうですね。あの、一
Home fall. No, hometown. Hi, my name is John McKellen. I'm the creative director at No Code, and we are working on Silent Hill Townfall. I remember playing the original Silent Hill on PS1 back in 1999 and became a fan from that moment on. So for us to work on this game with our friends at Annapurna feels like an actual dream come true. It's a real honor for us to... Man, they must have hated Kojima so much. They must have wanted him out so bad. Bring a new title to this series that both respects the source material, but also does something a little bit different with it. To say that Silent Hill has been an inspiration to No Code would be a massive understatement. Our previous two games, Stories Untold and Observation, both played with that same deep psychological horror. And at No Code, we're all about... We To say that Silent Hill has been an inspiration to No Code would be a massive understatement. Our previous two games... Stories Untold and Observation. <laughs> Stories Untold brings up a... Okay, here we go. Mostly positive, very positive. Oh, it's got that TV CRT thing that this has. And observation. Just regular observation. Mostly positive, sci-fi thriller. In space. Devolver put it out. Okay. All right. Stories Untold and Observation both played with that same deep psychological horror. And at No Code, we're all about weaving that narrative and that experience into okay. every aspect of our game design, our audio, our visuals, even our UI. So obviously the teaser trailer is just the beginning and we can't show you any more just yet. We're going to be hard at work for a while, uh, but we can't wait to come back in the new year and show you more. Until then, it might be worth watching that trailer again and see what you might have missed. Do you think Ito would have his name attached to the Silent Hill uh, uh, remake without okaying anything after change, after shitting on the HD collection? Yeah, there's this thing called money uh, that people give you, and you can exchange it for goods and services, um, and that's really helpful. Speaking of, hey guys, did you know? Uh. Where's the button? It's not on here. Speaking of. Did you guys know that if you go down to, where's the button, to HelloFresh.com and use the code POGHF4657, you can get 16 free meals across seven boxes and three surprise gifts. 32 people in the watch this show have already bought the boxes. They're great. They're delicious. Very good. Enjoyable. Put it in your mouth. サイレントヒルの新作を一緒に作ってくれるこれ以上ないパートナーだと思ってます。そうなんですか。この他にも新たなパートナーいらっしゃるんでしょうか。はい。まだ今日は言えないんですけれども、同様に素晴らしいサイ
I just like they're they're so bad. お願いします。内藤さん、今回はどんな情報をお持ちいただいたんでしょうか。今回はですね、サイレントヒルゲームの復活のきっかけともなった映画化の話です。There it is. There these are movie games. These are fucking movie games. 数年前に映画の元々作ってた映画のプロデューサーの方から最新作作りたいという提案をいただきました。監督はあの第一作の方を演出されたクリストフガンズ氏が手掛けるとでさらにまあいいプロットいい企画をいただいてこれはいい映画になるぞというところで進めてきましたただですねまあ映画だけでいいのかというところもあってこれはゲーム復
Yeah. This return is my return to a world, a universe. I have uh, touched in uh, 2006, 15 years ago. The film was a great success. It was and not. And he decided to go back to the best of his stories. I mean, Silent Hill 2. The film is the story of a young guy coming back to Silent Hill where he has known uh, a great love. And what he's going to find is a, a pure nightmare. I have the chance of being very close with Christoph, and we together. And I'm responsible for making the Resident Evil movies such bad movies. There is a new uh, version of Silent Hill that needs to be done, and they are 100% on board. In the first Silent Hill, we were exploring a world, the world of this small town completely closed into, into the mist. It was like being trapped into the, a twilight zone. But in the second game, you know, the, the creator of the game have changed the rules, you know. We were basically going back to Silent Hill, the same town, but we were looking at this strange world entirely through the, the point of view of the hero we were playing. Town. He realized that Mary is lost somewhere into this strange place. At his core, it's also the idea of the myth of Orpheus. No, it's not. And whatever a, a man can go deep in hell to bring back the soul or the person he loved the most. No, it's not. Life. So it's much more about psychological horror. Even if we are going to find again all the same creature and the same strange terror sequence, something like that, but the first big interrogation and the first big terror is about ourselves. Are we mad? Are we sane? Are, are we sane to go back to Silent Hill to find this great love? This one now has so many years from the first one that there is a clear idea from Christoph to make it modern, but also very true to the video game. And that's also what it is. We are also respecting the will of the author, the producers, and Konami into this uh, adaptation. Is that supposed to be Christoph, James? it's really somebody that respects the work that has been done, but that also has his own vision. Hey, listen, I'm not a big movie storyboard guy, so I wouldn't know, but aren't these like laughably simple storyboards? They're not even arranged in like a like a paneling layout. That's normal? Okay. It nurture the creative vision of the authors from the game, but with a different vision from a filmmaker. And both they have created, I believe, something that has struck the minds of the fans. Silent Hill franchise were great artistic achievement and I have a responsibility to transpose that on a big screen, you know. Christoph is a real gamer. He has been immersed. Christophe is the real gamer, lo, okay. I know what you're thinking. He's still uh, thinking he's not a uh, real gamer. He got uh, good, he's platinum and the Valorant, lo, okay. In this world. That's why um, the first film was so well received by the fans of Silent Hill because they felt that uh, I was one of them and it was so important for me to, to respect the original creation, you know. That, that was the base, the, the start of everything. Everything starts from this respect. So I'm going with a maximum of humility, a maximum of respect, but in the same time I have quite a charge. Quite Is a that board. fucking supposed to be the Toluca Lake Hotel? Dude, Toluca Lake is supposed to be like an overgrown bed and breakfast. <sighs> Which is how to transpose the language of the game, which is entirely about immersion, into a tale, into a story that we can tell in 90 or 100 years. So I think the saddest thing about the Silent Hill 1 movie from an artistic perspective because is... So this would have been terrible as a theatrical release for a lot of reasons. But from a genuine artistic perspective, do you know what one of the reasons why the movie wraps up so insanely fast? 
uh, at the end like that. Uh, they cut like 90 minutes of them just wandering around confused in the town. That movie was supposed to be like over an hour longer. Um, and one of the reasons, one of the ways you can really tell that they just chopped at it is that Sybil shoots a monster like four or five times. She shoots the lying figure and kills it earlier in the movie. And then later on, she goes to shoot uh, some of the goons and she's out of bullets. And it doesn't, there's no, it doesn't make sense continuity wise. Um, and it's because they cut like multiple encounters with other monsters out. Like the best, the best parts of the Silent Hill movie is about the first third where you're walking around or the characters are walking around and it's very confusing and it's very visually striking. The monsters are also one of the key elements that the fans are waiting for. And we are updating those in a way that the creation is similar, but they will be striking. For me, one of my major goals in, in this film is how to redesign the classic monster of Silent Hill. Uh, I was talking about my pyramid, you know, this big guy with the helmet, you know. He's again in this one. Some of the creatures of the film of uh, back in uh, 2000. I think I think referring to Pyramid Head being back again in the story that he's from is really bizarre. Really weird. Also, I want to point out you guys are are jumping on the phrase red pyramid thing. I want to be really clear that's Pyramid Head's actual name. I don't know if you guys like you guys are making fun. That is actually the real name. That's what he, that's the only time he has ever referred to in game ever is some kind of red pyramid thing. Six were very, very appreciated by, by the family. But in the same time, for me, it was it was important to come back with, with surprise. It's a new universe. It's a new challenge. And those are very important to bring those KFC icons trip? differently to the audience because they want them to have that wow effect. Wow. That's why, you know, I found a very interesting collaboration with the people of Konami. They helped me a lot to achieve this new design of the monster because we are also working on a new episode uh, for the franchise of Silent Hill. Hey, I want to say that in the Silent Hill movie, uh, one of the only things about that movie that was a complete slam dunk, there were two things in that were uh, slam dunks. One was, uh, I'm going to grab you by your chest and rip your whole skin off. Wow, that's an all-time great horror movie kill. That's a good one. That was nuts. Uh, the second of which is the nurse design was great. The younger audience, they want that collective experience. They want to be with their friends. They want to talk about it, but they want also to live that experience together. We all know that uh, watching an horror film alone at his home is quite different of being into a big theater with a crowd and, and everybody jumping at the same time. It's very different. We are modernizing. We are giving him what the audience of today is really wanting. We are trying to do as much as possible, creating a new experience for that audience. Do as much what the audience. Uh, yep, that's Silent Hill HD collection because her eye textures are screwed up. Very different. We are modernizing. We are giving him what the audience of today is really wanting. We are trying to do as much as possible, creating a new experience for that audience. Could be more immersive, interactive, and we have now new technologies, but we still have what makes the best is the story. And this story is at the core of it. So we hope that Return to Silent Hill will be a great return. And if we want uh, to keep the link with the audience, you know, we have to, to be perfectly aware that everything has changed in 15 years. Everything has been washed away. We have to bring back something, you know, very surprising.
プロデューサー監督ありがとうございましたゲームを映画に負けないように頑張っていこうと思ってます映画とゲームゲームを映画に負けないように頑張っていこうと思ってますああ、no! no! oh, that's the quote right there Oh God! Oh good God damn! That's the worst. What does it say? We also are doing our best to make sure that our games are as good as the film. 映画とゲーム両方を最高のクオリティにしてファンにお届けしたいと思ってます。もうファンとしては両方とも本当に楽しみです。内藤さん映画もゲームもまだまだこれからだと思うんですけれども今後の予定などってお聞きすることってできますでしょうかさっきの,あの映像の中にもあったと思うんですけどすで、まあ、に絵コンテとかイメージボードとかあるんですけど実は撮影とかキャスティングはまだこれからなんですね、まあ、今後いろいろ映画の方も山場がいっぱいあると思うんでこちらの方もまあゲームと一緒にいい作品になるように進めていきたいと思ってますありがとうございます。映画も楽しみです。この配信をご覧の皆さんもぜひ楽しみにお待ちくださいね。それではこの回もそろそろ。内藤さん、岡本さん、ありがとうございました。Oh man, that movie is super far away. From here, I would like to share with you some of Silent Hill related items that will help you enjoy the game even more. Here is the first one we would like to introduce. From Gecko, you all very know, one sixth scale statue of Red Pyramid Thing is coming. Thoroughly supervised right, by the art cool. director and the monster designer of Silent that's Hill, fine. too, Masahiro Ito, all details toy. are brushed you, up. Your toy. you can even see the details we couldn't express because of the video game spec at the time. The base capturing the scaffold can be connected, and you can recreate the scene of the final fight against two that's Red fine. Pyramid Things. Up next, James Sunderland 1 6 scale statue. That's the realistic sculpture perfectly captures weird. James's exhaustive facial expression. Not only the handgun, but also the wooden plank, the steel pipe, and the great knife pairing up with Red Pyramid thing can be held in his right hand. At his feet, health drinks are tossed away. That's Strange. Maria from Silent Hill 2 is also coming as a 1 6 scale statue. This is also strange. It is strange. the very first official statue of Maria with the high quality and beautiful details. The right hand is interchangeable with a hand holding the gun, which appears in the sub scenario Born from a Wish. Think about Last life. but not least, the secret ending of Silent Hill 2, Inu End, is also recreated as a 1 6 scale coin bank statue. The diorama statue will remind okay. you of the last scene where all James right. climbs to his knees and say, So it was all you your had work. me in the first half. I'm not gonna lie. That's from here. We okay. will introduce oh. some products from the official Konami shop. First, Silent Hill board collection. We made a collection, bro. Do you want to skateboard on that giant head of Eileen from Silent Hill 4? That's like the coolest part of that whole game that encapsulates all that horror and eeriness, featuring legendary characters from the first four installments of the franchise. These hand number limited decks are now available for pre order. An official Konami shop, all these products are now available. Please check it out. Here is further information about Silent Hill goods. From Crazy Rock, 1 6 scale fully articulated collectible figures of Red Pyramid Thing and Bubblehead Nurse are coming. Hey, I know that's that guy from Dead by Daylight. They are high quality and fully articulated. From Good Smile Company, Pop Up Parade Bubblehead Nurse is coming with affordable prices. Pop Up Parade is a series of figures that are easy to collect. Each figure typically stands around 17 to 18 centimeters in height. From Bedrock Collectibles, Red Pyramid Thing and Maria Elevator Chase Diorama is coming. This statue diorama captures a moment in time as Red Pyramid Thing readies to swing his great blade while Maria attempts to run away and reach the elevator.
from Bedrock Collectibles, Red Pyramid Thing and Maria Elevator Chase Diorama is coming. This statue diorama captures a moment in time as Red Pyramid Thing readies to swing his great blade while Maria a moment in time as Red Pyramid Thing readies to swing his great blade while Maria attempts to run away and reach the elevator in time with her outreached hand. This diorama will be coming soon to the Bedrock Collectibles website. Konami is proud to present all these items on Silent Hill e-commerce page. Don't miss it and secure your order. introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Jacob Navok and I'm the CEO at Genvid. Jacob, what will you be presenting this time? I'm going to show you a new kind of Silent Hill, an experience that you haven't seen up until now. A whole new experience. What is it all about? Please take a look at this video for him. this is going to be another world of Silent Hill. Jacob, could you please introduce your project? For over 20 years, Silent Hill has haunted my memories. And lately, I enjoy watching streamers playing Silent Hill with their fans. We love the feeling of being scared together, of experiencing fear with friends. It's why watching horror films in the theater is so fun. Silent Hill Ascension takes that feeling of have you noticed how many times there? Uh, oh, I love watching Silent Hill in the theater. Oh boy, it would really be great to watch Silent Hill in the theater at the movie theater. Communal fear to a massive scale is a live, real-time interactive series where millions of fans will watch together as the chilling story unfolds. You can change its outcomes and even be a part of scenes. Okay, so here's my favorite part, okay? You get ready? Okay. Oh my God! The, oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Hey, do you guys know if it's weird to have like a rash on your balls, like that extends down to like your feet? Is that, are we, are we in the event? Are we doing the, th okay, hold on. Oh, okay, my bad. There is no reset button. Decisions that you make mean life or death in the story. It's your chance to shape Silent Hill canon forever. Silent Hill Ascension is brought to you by Genvid, Bad Robot, Behavior, and DJ2, and goes live in 2023. Sign up at ascension.com 
for updates. I'm so excited about this new world of Salem Hill. Here are some messages we received from two important partners in the project. Before we look at the messages, could you please introduce them? Today we're going to hear from Bad Robot as well as Behavior. I see you. Okay, first things first. I would like to read a message from director J.J. Abrams. Genvit's experience presents a wild, epic, and innovative... I did not say this or write it. Someone showed it to me and was like, is this one cool? And I said, get out of my fucking face and get me a drink. ...new way to immerse yourself in the horrors of Silent Hill. Next, please watch the message from the art director of Bad Robot and the creative team of Behavior Interactive. I'm Chris Amaral from Bad Robot Games and art director for Silent Hill Ascension. Our approach to Silent Hill Ascension is to ensure we maintain the tone and the feeling that the fans have come to love from the franchise, while also adding our own twist of an oppressed, tormented, and morose dimension of reality. Silent Hill creatures are often manifested projections from the darkest depths of the main character's mind. That's not true! That's only true for some of them! In Silent Hill Ascension, we build off of this. Our creatures are inspired by the personal traumas and internal demons of our characters' past lives. We want the art style to be a fresh take on the brand, while still being equally respectful to where we've been before. In 2021, we released The Executioner and the survivor Cheryl Mason in Dead by Daylight. Today, behavior once again will dive into the world of Silent Hill, but with a completely new experience. Here's Chris, VP Creative of our service division to tell you all about it. Everyone at Behavior is excited to announce our collaboration with Genvid on Silent Hill Ascension in a new form of entertainment that blends community, live storytelling, and interactivity. Silent Hill Ascension takes you and the entire community. You motherfuckers are gonna sit here and make fun of my fucking mixer audio while these pieces of shit are doing fucking, fucking streams out of their fake libraries community on a unique interactive storytelling experience where the decisions you make affect the characters and the world those decisions become canon and there's no reset button this is a whole new chapter for silent hill with new characters and frightful monsters where the stakes couldn't frightful be more real monsters oh We're my thrilled god to be working with the talented team i hate Gen frightful Bad monsters Robot they're and scary DJ2 to bring silent hill ascension to life look for it to go live in 2023 <laughs> and sign up at ascension.com for updates I can see the new charm of Silent Hill. The fun only gets better. Jacob, what do you think of the two message videos? I am thrilled to work with these incredible teams. Together, we're going to revolutionize what horror means in interactive media. That's fantastic. We are excited, too. I hope everyone watching this distribution is eagerly waiting this new Silent Hill. I'm sure you will not be disappointed. Thank you, Jacob, for sharing your fascinating title with us today. Thank you for your time, Jacob. Thank you very much. Oh, the teleprompter reading is so bad. It, there's something really wild. Uh, you have all the time to build up this kind of thing. You have all the takes you want, and then you have character. You have characters. You have you have these people clearly looking just past the camera at the prompter. I'm like, you just read, just learn the words. <laughs> Thank you very much. Finally, we will leave you with that completely new video. Thank you for watching Silent Hill Transmission. A new video. Ooh. Ooh, here it comes. It's not gameplay. I knew you were excited there for a second, but it wasn't gameplay, so shut up. It's not gameplay. Stop being excited.
America, that's easily the most interesting thing. Right? We can all agree that Silent Hill F was by far the most interesting thing. Like, by a, a massive margin. But that's by the RE-verse devs? Great. Wow, that was fun. Uh, did somebody clip the part where I switched between the 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 knife and? <sighs> I want that to be the takeaway from today. <laughs>